The Nintendo Switch is full to the brim with games. Every week there are over 300 games on sale at any one time. Well, that's where we come in. I'm James Romero, and every Sunday we go bargain hunting to help uncover the eShop deals worth picking up. Speaking of which, this video is brought to you by Hypercharge Unboxed. Hypercharge your Switch with this fantastic first-person shooter that takes you back to your childhood as you take control of an action figure in the familiar settings of a home. It's all about protecting your territory against waves of green soldiers, plastic dinosaurs, and much more. The style is superb, and in between these frantic and fun waves, you need to reinforce your base tower defense style if you've not checked this game out then have a look there's a link in the description below the dev team are superb constantly adding more features and this one is a real blast with mates locally or online so what are the best eShop games on sale in the uk us and eu let's jump in and take a look Kicking things off with my pick of the week, it's the way of the passive fist. On the face of it, this is your regular side-scrolling beat-em-up, but instead of beating your enemies, you play as the Wanderer, a warrior determined to avoid hurting others most of the time. Passive fist indeed, your way to beat enemies is through blocking, dodging and parrying. Enemies will become fatigued and you can move on to the next baddie in your way. Essentially, this means the game plays out like a rhythm based fighter where you need to get your timings just right to build up your combo meter. The soundtrack is excellent and the visuals are very cool. The result is a surprisingly refreshing take on a genre that is for the most part quite worn. Anyone who enjoys beat-em-ups and wants something new should give this a go. And if rhythm games are your thing, you might be surprised by this as well. With 90% off, this is a fantastic bargain that is easy for me to recommend. Jordan, Juan, what are your picks this week? Thank you very much, James. My pick of the week is R-Type Dimensions EX. And I remember back in the day when I was a teen, I remember this game being super difficult, but it's a game I have fond memories of. And now it's on the Nintendo Switch. You get to play through 14 levels, either in 2D or the new 3D visuals, being able to swap back and forth, which is a cool feature, kind of like the recent Duke Nukem 3D, which dropped on the Nintendo Switch recently. The gameplay has remained untouched, which is a good thing because it was fantastic in the first place. The game includes eight of the original R-Type levels, plus six from R-Type 2, and there's an included co-op mode to play with a friend if you desire. With some new features also included, this is a must-buy for me at its current discount of 50% off if you're a shoot 'em up fan. Take care, guys, and we'll see you soon. Hey everyone, Jordan here with my bargain of the week. Now this week I'm going for an RPG, one of those that you've often seen on the eShop and asked yourself, is it actually worth the price? Yes, Fairy Fence F Advent Dark Force is usually quite expensive despite looking a little rough around the edges. Well, it is a decent time and a game that JRPG fans will want to pick up and try, especially at its new price of $7.99 in the US with 80% off. Sadly, it's not on sale in Europe and pretty much never has been, so it might be worth picking up some eShop credit for the US if you want to pull the trigger on this one. You can find links to eShop credit below in the description and pinned comment. Alright, that's my pick, guys. Have you played this one before? Do let me know your thoughts. Sweet picks there, guys. Thanks for that. Now, if you're a fan of turn-based tactic-style RPGs, then this little gem that flew under the radar is worth considering. At its full cost, it competes squarely with the big boys like Fire Emblems, but with 66% off, it's much, much more attractive. The sprite-based visuals are a particular highlight for me personally. I also really like the background design, and the game's mechanics fall into the category of deep and complex. Now, for those of you who have been watching for a while, you'll know that's right up my street. There's also a fair amount of depth to the story. All in all, this is the type of game that you can just sink many, many hours into. Not a bad deal at just over $10. Check this one out. Project High Rise is a building and management sim that focuses down on a single building. Instead of a sprawling city, you're just honed in on making your building please your tenants and attract new ones. You need to tick all the boxes to keep your tenants happy power, restaurants and amenities. There is no story and no laughs here. This is a dry, deep management sim. If that's your bag, then it's a solid game. If not, you're certainly gonna get bored here and you better skip this one. Overall though, for me, this is a cool title, especially at $12. Valhalla is about as niche as it gets. A waifu style interactive novel set in a cyberpunk dystopian world. 
But you're not out to save the world or embark on an epic quest. Nope, you are a bartender and you listen to various clients, mix them your drink and get to enjoy their stories unfold. As far as gameplay goes, it's pretty light. Mixing cocktails is easy enough and there is not really any pressure here. The style is retro and cool, in my opinion, and the soundtrack is decent too. It's a bit different, but nice to relax with, especially in handheld mode. And if you thought Valhalla was a bit odd, then Among the Sleep is pretty weird. You play as a toddler in the first person that's thrown into a supernatural setting. Essentially, this is a walking simulator with a bit of a horror vibe going on. It's certainly flawed. You get to crawl around and the controls, of course, are a bit strange. But this is quite different and pretty enjoyable. With 70% off, it might be worth a look. I would definitely not pay full price for this one personally, though. Figment is a fantastical look into the inner workings of the human mind. It challenges depression, joy, and the full spectrum of our inner thoughts in a playful puzzle game. The visual style is wonderful, the colours are quirky, and the ideas of the mindscape are portrayed really well. The puzzles and gameplay for the most part is good, but not great. There is some light combat and some tracking back to figure out how to progress. Overall though, this is a very enjoyable game, it's certainly worth picking up. This jam combines tennis with air hockey and frisbee throw-in for a cool arcade sports title. When you pick up this game, it's easy to understand, and yet there are lots of skills and tricks that you can use to trick your opponents, and that really is what this game's all about, playing with your mates either locally or online with cross-platform play. Now, I don't know, to be honest, how active this one still is online, so watch out for that. But certainly, if you get some mates together and you can play these two versus two matches, that's the best way to do it. It's a blast when you do that. Mary Skelter 2 is a sequel to the first title that came out on the Vita. With a Japanese comic book style and characters like Thumbelina and other classic fairy tale characters, but creepy and dark. The themes of blood, jail, and torture are rife, along with some sexualized themes too. This is a dungeon crawler that's a bit hardcore. It features turn based battles as well as real time exploring, and the combination is quirky. This is a really Japanese release that won't be for everyone, but it's done really well. I don't know about you, but growing up as a kid, I really loved Indiana Jones. Now, if like me, you like the idea of playing Indiana Jones, then Sydney Hunter and the Curse of the Mine is the one for you. Trapped in a mine pyramid, you need to find artifacts in order to escape. This is a 2D platformer that is ultra retro. Armed with a whip, the gameplay is classic, but beware, the difficulty spikes are tough. At just $1.99, this is a real bargain. It's not on sale in the UK or EU, but as the Switch is region free, you can set up an account and pick this one up if you're based elsewhere. Check out the link in the description over on our website on how to do that. This is a really interesting title. It's a collection of 18 NES and Famicom titles from the Kunio series. The best known of which in the West are the Double Dragon Trilogy and River City Ransom. But digging a little bit deeper and we've got a whole host of titles that have been lovingly put together onto the Nintendo Switch that never got released in the West, including the brilliant Kunio Kun's Niketsu Soccer League. The titles are a bit misleading out of the 18 titles, only about half of them are brawlers. The rest are a journey into sports and other quirky titles that you never got your hands on. It's a great package at less than $20 and there are nice features here such as co-op and more. Streets of Rogue is a roguelike that features fast paced action and is set in a city instead of the usual dungeon synonymous with these games. It looks a little like Enter the Gungeon but this is all about choice. There are 24 classes, most of them are unlocked as you start with just six, and you can essentially be whoever you want to be and tackle the game however you want. It leads to intriguing runs, and when you throw in multiplayer with up to three friends alongside you, this becomes even more exciting. Now, Xenon Racer is a kind of game that looks like a perfect fit in this sales video. It's got 83% off, it looks really cool, it's a racer, but be warned. This version on the Nintendo Switch is ultimately a pretty poor port. It sacrifices a lot of visual fidelity, the frame rates are jerky, and the developer never really went back and fixed it to the level that we would hope for. So overall, probably best that you avoid this one. This is an absolutely adorable, fast-paced and short platformer that is well worth picking up for just 
24 cents or a ridiculous price. Set on a post-human Earth, Defunct tells the story about a little unicycle robot on board a massive recycling aircraft having some technical difficulties that it then goes to find spare parts for. During its quest, it is accidentally thrown out with the trash and now must brave the surface in an attempt to catch up and get back home. Think Wally. If Felseal represents the complex, classic sprite-based style, turn-based strategy RPG, then Spaceland represents the other end of the spectrum. Think an iOS game. Battles are quite short and everything is very accessible. That's not to say it's boring, there's a light story, characters to recruit and strategy on hand, but it's distilled down. Taking control of a small squad of space marines and picking up different characters along the way, this is a nice easy-going game that's certainly best enjoyed in short handheld bursts. Lightfall is yet another tricky platformer. The Switch has its fair share of them, but Lightfall offers enough to be worthy, especially at this great price. The world and light story on offer is decent, traversing the mysterious shadowy world of Numbra. You can summon a box that you use to propel you to platforms. A simple idea, but one that's tricky to master when you need to jump, summon a box and time everything just right. The challenge is there, but not as hardcore as some others. A spot that I find just right personally. And that's this week's bargains. A bit of a weird collection of games, cheeky indies at low prices. What do you like the look of? Let us know down below. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Take care, everyone. Have a great week. We'll be back tomorrow with this week's physical roundup from Jordan. I cannot wait to see what he's got in store for us. See you there. Take care.